we have a question a function f from r2 to r defined by f of x1 x2 equal to x1 minus x2 find and sketch the level sets and graph so we have a function whose domain is r2 defined as f of x1 x2 is equal to x1 minus x2 we know the equation of the level set f inverse of c equal to set of all x1 x2 such that f of x1 x2 equal to c that is set of all x1 x2 such that x1 minus x2 f of x1 x2 means x1 minus x2 that's equal to c so the equation x1 minus x2 equal to a constant c is the equation of a line straight line the equation on it so when we substitute c equal to 0 then f inverse of 0 equal to set of all x1 x2 such that x1 minus x2 equal to 0 that is set of all x1 x2 such that x1 equal to x2 that is the it is the line representing x1 equal to x2 the line making an angle 45 degree with the x axis next f inverse of 1 that is substituting the value 1 for c we get a set of all x1 x2 such that x1 minus x2 equal to 1 and f inverse of minus 1 that is the line x1 minus x2 equal to minus 1 f inverse 2 and f inverse of minus 2 we get a, the line x1 minus x2 equal to 2 and x1 minus x2 equal to minus 2 so next we have graph graph of f equal to by definition set of all x1 x2 x3 the function is in r2 therefore graph is on r3 set of all x1 x2 x3 such that x3 equal to f of x1 x2 that is x3 equal to x1 minus x2 so we get a set of all x1 x2 x3 such that x1 minus x2 minus x3 equal to 0 this is the equation of a plane plane the equation so uh, that is uh, r3 little plane the equation so we have to draw the level set and graph so first we have the x1 and x2 axis x1 and x2 axis then first we draw f inverse of 0 0 ki corresponding at the adhyam varikkunnathu aayirikkum koodal saugiryam karanam baaki ulla ella level set kalum f inverse of 1 aayalum minus 1 aayalum edu value c ki koduthalum adu 0 ki parallel aayittanu varu 0 ki corresponding aayittu endano kittiyathu adinodu saamiy ulla reethiyilana varu so f inverse of 0 nammal parannu it is the line x1 equal to x2 so idana x1 equal to x2 ennu parayna line that is f inverse of 0 this is f inverse of 0 the line x1 equal to x2 that is making an an angle 45 degree with the x axis x1 axis now f inverse of uh, 1 f inverse of 1 means x1 minus x2 equal to 1 that is when when we put x1 equal to 0 then we get uh, x2 equal to minus 1 so the line passing through 0 minus 1 that is 0 minus 1 means here 0 minus 1 and uh, when we put x2 equal to 0 x2 equal to 0 we get x1 equal to x1 equal to 1 that is the line passing through 1 0 also so 0 minus 1 and 1 0 so we get the line like this that is straight line f inverse of 1 then f inverse of 2 it should be passed to 2 0 and 0 minus 2 that is like this f inverse of 2 then when f inverse of minus 1 it passes through 0 1 and minus 1 0 that is f inverse of minus 1 then f inverse of minus 2 like this so all the lines are parallel to f inverse of 0 when c greater than 0 it is uh, below f inverse of 0 and when c less than 0 it is above f inverse of 0 so we get parallel lines so the parallel lines are parallel to 
the line x1 equal to x2. x1 equal to x2 in the line in parallel light to the straight lines on e define the function de f of x1 equal f of x1 x2 equal to x1 minus x2 in the function de level set. Now next we have graph. Graph is a, a plane in R3. R3 lilla uru plane on. So we have x1 x2 and x3 x1 x2 and x3 and we get a plane like this a plane which is passing through the containing the origin so this is the graph of f okay so the level set and graph now we have another question that is the function f from r2 to r defined by f of x1 x2 equal to x1 into x2 sketch the level sets f of x1 equal f of x1 x2 equal to x1 into x2 on function the definition that in the level set to draw chain so level set to an equation on career it is f inverse of c equal to set of all r2 lana x1 x2 such that f of x1 x2 equal to c that is set of all x1 x2 such that x1 into x2 equal to c x1 into x2 equal to c that is xy equal to a constant this is the equation of a hyperbola rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola that is the equation xy equal to c or x1 x2 equal to a constant hyperbola means we have to hyperbola we axis we have to branches and the branches are hyperbola it has two branches so here we get x1 into x2 equal to c so when c equal to 0 c equal to 0 on angle we get x1 x2 equal to 0 that means x1 equal to 0 or x2 equal to 0 or both both x1 and x2 equal to 0 so anyway it is the union of coordinate axis that is when c equal to 0 the level set become the union of the coordinate axis x1 and x2 when c greater than 0 when c greater than 0 then x1 x2 equal to c represent the rectangular hyperbola where the two branches of the hyperbola lying in the first and third quadrant that is first and third quadrant lie first the first quadrant this is third quadrant ingane ulla branches varuna hyperbola set okay now if c less than 0 then we get hyperbola whose branches of whose branches lying on the second and fourth quadrant second quadrant ilum fourth quadrant ilum branches ulla reethiyil hyperbola varu rectangular hyperbola okay so we get the level set like this this is x1 axis and x2 axis then the level set is like this rectangular hyperbolas having branches in the quadrants where we have the asymptote as the coordinate axis coordinate axis as the asymptotes so this is the level set of f of x1 x2 equal to x1 into x2 now next we have another question that is a function defined on r2 f from r2 to r 
such that f of x1 x2 equal to minus x1 square plus x2 square we have to find the level set so we get level set f inverse of c equal to set of all x1 x2 such that f of x1 x2 equal to c where c is a real number so s equal to set of all x1 x2 such that minus x1 square plus x2 square equal to c so this is the general equation of general representation of level set it's also an equation of hyperbola so when we put c equal to 0 then minus x1 square plus x2 square equal to 0 that is x1 square equal to x2 square that is x1 equal to plus or minus x2 that means it is the line x1 equal to plus or minus x2 means it is the line these two lines so this is f inverse of 0 f inverse of 0 and we know that this is the equation of a hyperbola having branches having branches along the uh, lines x1 equal to x2 or x1 equal to plus or minus x2 that is in the previous case we get the equation x1 into x2 equal to c it is the rectangular hyperbola with the coordinate axis as the asymptotes here the line x1 equal to plus or minus x2 that is these two lines are the asymptotes that is we get the hyperbola branches like this this is one eluda passing but that is f inverse of one and f inverse of one and f inverse of two and here is also a branch similarly here f inverse of minus one f inverse of minus 2 here also branches okay so this is the level set of f of x1 x2 equal to minus x1 square plus x2 square f of x1 x2 equal to minus x1 square plus x2 square hyperbolas having the line x1 equal to plus or minus x2 as the asymptotes if we take the consider the graph we get graph of f equal to set of all x1 x2 and x3 such that x3 equal to f of x1 x2 that is f x3 equal to minus x1 square plus x2 square okay now if we take the if we draw the graph we get a three dimensional figure of this uh, this uh, representation that is we get uh, like this sorry like this three dimensional figure like this okay and if we take a cross section a cross section like this then we get a figure that is a figure like this that is a three dimensional figure like this that is if we take a cross section here then we take we get a figure like this okay so we can see the level set and graph like this this is the uh, representation of a level set and uh, here we can see the line x1 equal to plus or minus x2 as the asymptote of the branches of hyperbola and here is the 
cross section cross section of uh, the level, uh, level set that represents the graph so the level set and graph of f of x1 x2 equal to minus x1 square plus x2 square we get the level set as the hyperbola uh, that are having asymptotes to the line x1 equal to plus or minus x2 okay thank you